right, so a few of the things that we kind of pre-did uh, to make this build go a little bit quicker, we did pre-drill the holes with the template uh, P7s for all of uh, the regular uh, wires that are going to go through, and then the power cord is going to be a, a P11 currently. That may change to a P9 depending on the extension cables that Gilbert Engineering gets, but right now P11 is the fit for it. And then, of course, this is for Ethernet gland. As far as uh, step bits that uh, you can utilize for this, a uh, half inch, uh, three quarter inch, and one inch will take care of all of your holes and get them perfect once you get them templated on there. Uh, some of the other prep work we did we, we pre did our wires for connecting in, did that ahead of time. Few tools you may want to have. Wonderful pair of wire uh, strippers you'll need to have. Uh, I did leave one of the cords done so you can see that process, but we did put ferrules. That's a personal choice whether you're going to do ferrules or bare wires. Uh, there are pros and cons to both sides of that argument, and we kind of fall on the ferrule side for ourselves personally. So, see how it's uh, going to be our controller. We will use the ferrules. So, the first thing that we are actually going to do. Uh, now that it's all done, is we need to uh, attach the power supply to the backer board. It's a 12 volt power supply. As I did mention in the first video, the Baldrics can do between 5 volts and 24 volts. So there's a lot of different uh, options that are available for their particular um, product. So we'll go ahead and put these screws in the back side. Kind of get that pre-started a little bit here. There we go. Got our power supply completely on. Place it in there, and then we can securely drop in and attach the board, the backer board, to the actual box itself. The next step would normally be to attach all of our glands to the box, but because we're not using bare wires and ferrules, we will only be attaching the power supply cable gland now. Make sure you have enough slack and then you go ahead and tighten down the nut so the wire doesn't move any further. You also want to make sure that uh, you wire it correctly, which would be black for the line, uh, white for the neutral, and green for the ground. So black, white, green is the order you will connect them in. I know the wiring is a little bit tight here, so I did speak to Jason at Gilbert Engineering, and I know going forward they're going to be moving the mounting holes up about an inch and a half more towards the top, thus eliminating this problem and giving us more room to work with. Well, once you get them all tight, put on there. That's when you can uh, unloosen the nut a little bit on the gland and then wire back to how you'd like it. And you may want to put like a Velcro or a loop on here, depending on what you want to do. So then we'll just go ahead and tighten it back down. And then it's all hooked up. Let's go ahead and check the power, plugging it in. And then I'd like to use my uh, voltmeter just to kind of see where we are at. We don't want to be over 12. I usually like to run mine just a little bit under. And we're right at 12. I can hold these on without moving them. Let's see if we can adjust it just a little bit. Too much down. Yeah. 
I lay mine just a little under 12. There we go. That's good for me. Where you want to set it, kind of up to you. Wouldn't really go too much over 12. So now we'll go ahead and unplug it. Let all the power discharge before we go to the next step, which will be snapping on uh, the mount for the card itself. And these are little 3D printed mounting pegs. So we'll punch all these out. And then we'll push them in from the back side. You can see it's a half circle. Line it up on the half circle side and push them through. Three. And four. No longer have any power, totally drained. So now we can go ahead and put this on. And you can see it snaps on real nice right there. So now that we got them off, we're going to go ahead and put them on there. And then you have to apply a lot of pressure to push these down through. Holds. There we go. And we are on. Alright, so now that we got this uh, connected up, we're going to go ahead and run our lines. And just like uh, Falcon boards and some of the other boards, you'll see that we have. Uh, minuses are on the, the negatives on the outside, positive is on the inside. So you're going to want to run them the exact same way you do on those. If you're using bare wires instead of connectors, I would use a screwdriver to make a, a split down the middle of the wire so you can have it on either side of the screw when attaching it to the power supply. Also, going forward from this point in the video, you might see the uh, board moving a little bit on the power supply. It's because I accidentally broke the side pin when trying to adjust it and take it off. Um, so we will be replacing that board with a new one. Just a little transparency there. All right, now that all the uh, power connectors are in, we're going to go ahead and connect them up uh, here. So you see the negative goes on the outside. And the ferrules are a, a fairly tight fit. Uh, you are going to want to hold down the connector when you start to lock it in so you don't tear it off the top. All right, so there we have all of our power connectors on there. Let me go. And now we are going to go ahead and first show you how I, you can do one of the wires uh, when you get the when you get your wire, your pigtails. They're going to become tinned. They're going to come at you all tinned, and that's first thing you want to do is get rid of all that tinning. Um, that's just to kind of help protect the wires during the shipping process so they don't get all mucked up. So just snip off just a little bit there. There you go. And just, uh, I don't know, um, uh, between a quarter and a half inch. There you go. 
And if you're going to use the bare wires, fold them down a little bit to give them something to connect into the Phoenix connectors with. Otherwise, just go ahead and slide on your ferrules. If you're going to do ferrules. So, there you go. rinse and repeat. On these, of course, you've got the, the power red, black neutral, and yellow is going to be your data line on these particular pigtails. Your manufacturer may vary, but in this kit, that is what it is. So there we go. So now that we have them all done, we're actually going to take the nut off each one run them through and once we get them all through then that's when we are going to go ahead and connect the phoenix connector to them and the phoenix connectors pop in just like this this direction right here and it is ground on the outside data in the middle and positive on the outside so it's going to be a black yellow red all right, we got seven of them in. We'll just go ahead and do the last one here, just so you can see the process. Uh, some of them are a little bit of a tight fit, so you got to do a little bit of fidgeting to get the nut on. But once they're on there, it should be in good shape. Slide the nut down. If you're not doing ferrules, it's a little easier. You can put all these nuts on first before you do any wiring, and then shove these uh, through, as I mentioned, your pigtails. Uh, but just make sure you have enough room to plug it in and then go ahead and cinch it down so it doesn't get the tighter while you're prepping it and the other one to get in here it's just going to be our internet cable Make sure your internet's kind of lined up on the bottom before you tighten it up. The cable, how you want to plug it in. There you go. And that one is good to go. Right. So they are number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row being the one, the three, the five, the seven. Bottom two, four, six, eight. So that's how you want to run your pigtails also on the outside. I tend to like to do the bottom one first, which is number two. So to make sure I have number two correctly, I'll go ahead and grab it this way. Make sure that's the bottom one. And then that's when we're going to do our Phoenix connectors. All right, you need a smaller screwdriver. Like so. And these will be plugging in this direction. So make sure you have your connector lined up when you put the wires in because we want it to be a ground which is the black and then the yellow and then the red for the power I just go ahead and shove them all in there and tighten them all up I'll get them kind of snug here and then we'll go back and tighten them up There we go. There we go. There we go. And then you can just take, loosen the nut so there's play on the wire. There we 
we go. So then I'll take and I'll pull the wire a little tight and then I'll tighten it up so it can't pull out. It's locked in. Now we'll just go ahead and do the rest for the remaining of them. And we'll go from there. <laughs> 